Well, well, well. Uh, welcome, everyone. Hi, hi, hello. It's Finger here. Pablo for the friends. You know that already. As usual, looking up that uh, everything is working, making sure all is in order, that you can hear me, that you can hear the music, that you will hear the game and yes welcome to this streaming in English currently I'm testing this out I hope Twitch will put me in the right category or whatever uh, I did change the language over there so I am hoping that everything will go as it should go okay the game is set properly the language should be too. So, hi, hi. Hi in the chat as well. Welcome, welcome. Well, we're gonna be playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which is a game that was published back in 1992. So, a good while ago, I think some of you that may be watching or that may join the series or be watching this video uh, later on may not have been burn, born, not burn, <laughs> sorry, born uh, back when this game came up. Um, just to let you know, I played this game back in that time, installing it on my computer with a bunch of floppy disk and I mean it was later released on CD as well but I had the original version I believe but yeah it, it's a huge classic huge huge classic it's a graphic adventure um, well mainly we need to start playing and see what's going on with Indiana and what's going on with the Atlantis and how do we resolve all the mysteries around that so let's see how that goes uh, I think I'm just gonna jump open the game and jump on to action yeah. Should be hearing already that in the background. There we go. Who doesn't love this tune? 28 bit version, pretty much. Oh. Take a moment to just enjoy this. Oh my goodness. Wow, the memories, guys, the memories. Wow. Let's see, let's see. I hope you will be able to... Yeah, there we go. You can see the game. Okay. That's Jones. Okay, so we're looking for a statue. Okay, guys, so remember. 1992 game. That means that this game is 29 years old. Okay, it's almost as old as me, but not so... Not yet there, but almost. And remember, it's an adventure, it's a point and click. Um, we just need to start playing and see what's going on. Obviously, something related with Atlantis. So let's check. Okay, so we have Indy, we can click to walk to different places. <laughs> chest, a chest that belongs to Christopher Columbus. Study over here. Horus. More over here. But anyway, this is just sort of like the intro. And of course, this is for you to sort of, you know, learn how to play the game in a way. As with the classic uh, graphic adventures, it doesn't really have a lot of information on how to play it. You just need to go ahead and play it, pretty much. Uh, as I said, this is the intro, so you still see all these credits in-game credits and I did play this 25 years ago 
I haven't really uh, played it since. And... Um, there we go. I do remember certain things, and it probably will be coming back to mind as we play it. But I definitely don't remember everything. Again, 25 years ago I was playing this. Uh, installing it with floppy disk and so on. Also, you can see there is there's some sides of the screen that are black, because these games were not designed for this type of uh, screens. But yeah, it's also about enjoying it. It has a lot of um, like funny tidbits, this game. A lot of, you know, it, it has... Um, what to say? There's some, you know, comedy built in it. Um, goal would be to do short streams about this, so this probably will go for about an hour. Um, and then let's see. There we go. I do remember it was one of the cats. One of the cats. Papa, what's this one? There we go. Again, I'm not like you know following right now because this is pretty much as the intro. But let's see, let's see. Open some lockers over here. Need to. That's what we were looking for. Exactly. Or in the studio. So get it. So, Marcus. It's one of our associates. Remember, Indiana Jones is a archaeology teacher, really. Supposedly, beside his adventurous side, of course. And take a moment here to admire the graphics of a game 29 years old and how that brown blob is a person walking into a building. It's uh, fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Okay, that accent. That German accent, we know what it means. It has a key for the idol statue that we found. Hmm. We think it's a fake, but the German doesn't. Hmm. So that the key. Oh. A metal bead. Hmm. Well, the German doesn't think it's a fake. Mr. Smith. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Things are getting tense. Okay, there we go. Amazing fight a scene behind the desk. And the German get away. But we have his coat. Yeah, Marcus, sadly he will take away. Klaus Kerner, huh? not really Mr. Smith. <laughs> An agent from the Third Reich. Right. Hmm. Maybe it's not so funny after all. Yeah. There is Harrison Ford. Mr. Ford as Indiana Jones. Hmm. Sophia. Oh. 
Beeper, hello, hello. Hello everyone who's joining over there. English is streaming today. sense there is a romantic connection over here or a frustrated one let's see so we go from Barner College to New York City to find Sophia well hello John Corv hello hello and welcome okay here we go now we are starting to play now we are a moment now the real game start okay uh, welcome everyone who's around there. I don't know. I see five people over there. Welcome, welcome everyone playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Just a moment. Yeah. Really, really, really retro slash indie. And we're doing it in English. JC. <laughs> Juan Carlos. So. Okay, so. Very old style. You need to do different actions. These are the nine actions that we can do. Give, pick up, use, open, talk to, push, close, look at, pull. Then we'll have different items here. This is the magazine. Ah, Indy thought they liked each other, so they have a they have a thing. Uh, so now we need to figure out how to reach Madame Sophia, which is our partner, or was our partner back in the day. <laughs> and she turned into a psychic. Can we use the phone booth? Ah, no, we don't have any coins. Yeah. I mean, I was guessing already, because I remember as well, that we can't really go into the ticket booth. Show is sold out. Hold on. Oh shit, we cannot get in. As you saw, like, you have dialogues, you have different options to, to play around. So that we have the back door. We have some boxes over here. It's a crate. There's some more over here. We cannot get there. Okay, so we go to the door. Open the door. Let's see what happens. It's unlocked. Easy. Or maybe not so easy. Okay, so how do we get in, guys? How do we get it? Oh, I'm here to do Madame's outrageous orations. I'm the fire inspector. Let me do their winning nightmare. I guess we don't want to fight against this guy. He's in more fit than us, so... Are we the fire inspector? Vale. He didn't take it. Wait a minute. I really need to do your star. I'm with the band. Let me in. Ah, okay. Let's talk. We really need to talk with her. I think there's a mistake under here. It's a matter of life of Nazis. <laughs> I got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. Let's see if this works. Hmm. No kidding, I think she's the greatest. I shouldn't exaggerate, but she's great with fiction. Okay, because the thing is, we don't believe in what she can do, but I guess we need to pretend to fool this guy. So, let's lie. Ah, yeah, yeah, this guy likes her. Yeah, she's very pretty, she got a great cerebrum. She's very smart, she sure knows how to obfuscate. Hey, Arcalon, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis in English. 
perfect to learn a little bit. Well, well, six people already online. Thank you everyone who's joining the stream. Thank you, thank you. So, she's pretty, great setup room, very smart, which I guess is the same. Or she knows how to obfuscate, which is like, not so positive, I guess. Ah, she's very pretty, let's see. Uh huh. No, okay. So it's not about her looks. So let's start with the star. Uh, it's very smart. Okay. The way she what? The way she cons folks out of their hard earned cash. Not positive. The way she tosses her head when she laughs. The way she makes things so easy to understand. The way she hires poor Neanderthals like you. <laughs> I guess the way she tosses her head when she laughs. Let's see. Oh no, okay. She's a serious person. Wait a minute. Hmm. <laughs> Harrison Four, definitely. I'll show you in a moment, Narcalon. Uh Okay, I still think this is the right way to go. Hmm. She's very smart. What will we hit him? <laughs> Be bad. It's the way she makes things so easy to understand. <laughs> Let's not hit people yet. Let's try to be reasonable. Finish him. <laughs> okay, we got in. We got in, guys. <laughs> look, look. Harrison Ford. There you go. Big man under the hat. Okay. Walk to Sophia. I don't think she's gonna work. Yeah, she's in a... Hmm. Hmm. I want a reading with Miss Hub. We need to talk to that so-called psychic. Call the follower the here, will you? Oops, sorry to bother you. Let's get that reading, I guess. You have entered for good. <laughs> here we go. Practice in English, everyone. Okay, so it's not that. So... Okay. Oh, Atlantis. Amazing pictures. Interesting. Very important about the three circular part. Okay, so how do we get to her? Okay, we need to keep watching her show. Amazing graphics. Hmm. Nurapsal. Heh. 
<laughs> PowerPoint indeed. So, can we talk now? You look tired, wouldn't well, you could like to go later today? Man told me that you're fire. You don't know what you're really doing, you know, this lecture because of course. Me. I had the ghost is over there, yeah. Okay, we need to get rid of this guy. So we need to get to talk with her. Man told me that you're fire. Isn't there something that you're doing? You know, this lecture bores me stiff. Oh no, take a look at my union car. Oh no, take a look at my drawing. Oh no, take a look at my wallet. I say the wallet? Oh. <laughs> okay, not bribing, not bribing him. Hmm. Don't you ever read? Don't you ever have any hobby? Don't you ever get bored? What if we give you something to read? Okay, so there we give the National Archaeology to the stagehand. Mm -mm. He doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. So we need to find something for him to read. Then do you have any how you don't you get bored? How the hell do we get this guy? The Arcalon, I think it's just you guys at the moment. Active. Well, I see seven people now, supposedly live, so welcome if everyone, if anyone is around there that I cannot see in the chat list. Uh, feel free to write in the chat. We're playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. It's uh, pretty interesting. Okay, so we need to get some newspaper or something. Let's walk outside. Uh, well, there's a new stand over here, so I'm guessing... Walk the newspaper. Today's paper. Uh, pick up. Yeah, we got a newspaper. There we go. And now we give the newspaper to our friend. Ah, he liked this one. Okay, so... Okay, so we need to probably just pull the ghost out. So, do we use the right lever? Do we use the middle one? Do we use the left one? Okay, what the heck? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, okay, it's not use, I guess it's push. Okay, so the lights are yellow. Push the middle one. They are red again. Okay, so there's some combination here that we need to figure out. We Okay, it's green. So, what now? Ah, okay, okay. There's a bottom here, right? Yeah, bottom. Uh, push, I guess. 
There we go. We got our ghost working. Indiana Jones. Hmm. Oh no. Ah, uh, was the end of the show. What's happening here? Hmm. Uh oh. The German, the, old, the Nazi, he ransacked the apartment of Sophia. Damn Nazis! <laughs> Kerner is Thanos. Hmm. Hmm. Practical results are years away. Come on, if you don't want to even let a match, I'll never find enough uranium. Let them enter me. Let's see. Uh oh. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Yet you stole things from my expedition. Yet you've been dealing goods on the black market. Yet you never publish a word about your finds. Hmm. Stole things from my expeditions. Ah, that was a quick change of clothes. Music is so tense. Hmm. There we go. Oh, the calcum. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, the calcum. Okay, there we go. That was a ghost. Go to the land, that's for sure. I didn't think you were going to jumbo, don't try your shaky gag on me. Nura what? Nura what? We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Who knows where this bead really came from? You may have just used the last bead. Uh, there it is. Hmm. Oh no, psychic. Hmm. Guys, the music, it's so intense and so to the point for what this game is and for how old this game is. 
A book is a legendary hoax. If Plato wrote it, later authors would have reported it. I think Plato just wanted to tell a telltale. Tall tale? Tall tale? I think that's wrong. It's not in any library I've ever been. Let's say that. Let's, let's pretend that we believe what she's saying, right? Hmm. I mean, the Nazis find a lot of things, I guess. What were the spreads doing in Iceland? How did Nazi get interested in Iceland? Why Iceland? Why not Florida? Where it's warm? <laughs> I guess she found it in Iceland. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I remember Iceland. <laughs> there we go. The music, I love it. The adventure from New York to Iceland directly. Once again, whoever is joining in the, uh, over the chat, just please say hi if you're interested. Happy to have you in the family and introduce you to the game. Okay, so we're in Iceland, suddenly. Truck, encampment, look at the encampment. <sighs> Can we use the truck? Ah, okay, we can go back to New York, but I guess we need to do some things here first. Uh, I guess we just need to... Well, let's look at it. Hmm. What I say? JC! Okay, Dr. Björn Heimdall. What's with the, his voice? I think he's like, his balls are shrinking with the cold, so that's why he has that tone or something. <laughs> da, da, da. What do you expect to find here? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, a lot any time under itinerary. I don't know, but maybe Sophie has an idea. I'm not sure you're going to tell me. Tell me, eh? Oh my god. Aliens. He's a bit cuckoo. Do, do, do. What did this beans shop here? Have you completely scanned the supernatural? Okay. Hmm. Rumors, rumors. Hmm. Okay, so we have some new clues and locations. What about the last dialogue? Why did this bean show up here? Hmm. Very interesting. Mm. Hmm. Atlantean pieces, yeah, what well, we found. I wonder who. Do you say this species come from?
Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's that about the lost dialogue? Okay, I think we got everything we needed here. Or let's check these. This is thing you're working on. Hmm. I guess it will just repeat it, but... <coughs> Atlantic fish trap. Well, so long. So what do we do now, Sophia? I think the good doctor got frostbite on the brain. <laughs> I know you got that reference, but instead of saying my ass, she says my eye. It sounds similar, but way more polite, specifically. So I guess we off we go to some other destination. Okay, so now we have the Azores and Tikal. If anyone is in the chat and want to participate, you guys can choose. Where do we go next? Where do we go? We got Tikal or we got the Azores? Any preference? Anyone out there? I guess we go to... We go to Tikal. Yep. Okay, we're in the jungle. <laughs> Who's farting? Jungle problem. Okay, so we need to make him move somehow. We go in this one. Ah, oh, we go out. Where are we? Go out of this one. Go here, he goes there. Hmm. And we go out again. Okay, so we need to lead him out somehow. Or somewhere. So, let's see, we can... these two are connected. Uh, the thing is, I don't know where we need to... Okay, so the center one goes all the way here. Giant Anaconda. Oh, that's it, the sound. Okay, so I guess we need to get that guy to take care of the snake. As I said, I don't remember a lot about this game, just certain things. And I'm sure, you know, 29 years, or well, 25 years later, I'm a bit, hopefully smarter. So I'm not a bit better what I'm doing, but <laughs> don't have all your hopes on that. Yeah, they're remarking over here that a bit only. Okay, so if I go in the middle one, I should come out of there. No, I actually need to him to go to there. Hmm. How do we solve this? Let's see. So... 
this one and that one was connected. Okay, we go back in, we go out of there. And now we walk to him and he will go in there? No. Okay, so we want him to go in there. How the hell do we do that? Hmm. Come on guys, we can do this. It's starting to get complicated now. So if we walk in this one. And we go here. Du -du -du. So we want him to go in there now, but how do we do that? So these two are connected. So it's the two outer ones and the two inner ones. I'm pointing on my screen but you cannot see, but these two inner ones are connected, these two outer ones are connected, and the center one is the one that leads outside. So how do we get him to walk in there? Okay. So that one is connected to this one. So if I go in here... Okay, he's there. And if I walk here... He will go there. It's the same one as in here, and that doesn't work. Okay, he's in the center one now. So how the hell... Do I get him to walk inside? So then I walk here and he goes. Okay. What the heck? Am I missing something here? Maybe I need to go to the other place first. I don't know. Uh, Do I need to just be following him? Ah, here you go. The other one. So he's in the right one now, but how the hell do I do this? Oh, 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 okay, okay, I got an idea. Can I use my whip? Because I have my whip, obviously. So if I put him... If I manage to get him in the center one and I use my whip, will he walk in there? Hmm, I think that's the way to do it. Okay. Use whip the jungle road. Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, poor thing. We've used it as bait. I love the music effect. <laughs> well, I see there's some more people over here on the stream, so if you're new, if you're stopping by, say hi. We're playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, and let's see what we can do. If I use the whip, no. Okay, he's walking the tree. Thank you for stopping by, whoever is there. I cannot see you in the list of users, and she's there already. I cannot see you in the list of chat users, but happy to interact if you're over there and you're enjoying the stream. This is a very old game. How do you get over here? Hmm. Ah, Sofia, Sofia. 
What do we do now? So we need to find Sternhard. Trinket, souvenirs. Kerosene lamp. I want my kerosene lamp. Ah, <laughs> so we need to bite of this guy. Hmm. No, no, I don't want souvenirs. Hmm. Ah, so this is the guy. Ah, this is the guy that said he's a good trader. I think. Can you tell us about the temple? How do you find Atlantis here? Let's ask and get some information. Hmm. Damn Nazis. Can you tell us about Mr. Smith? Of the temple. Can we take a look inside? I guess we show you our magazine. Da, 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 I'm Dr. Jones. Mm. <laughs> yep. Indiana was called after his family dog, actually. Ah, there was something with a parrot, I remember now. I mean, we came to the wrong place. What kind of rumors? Hmm, that was similar to what Sofia was saying about... Uh, yeah. Other beans or superior race in a sense. Or what the other guy was saying about aliens. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Beeper, exactly. Do you actually believe Atlantis live here? I really need to explore the temple. The Pleiades, the Aine, the Socrates. I don't know the title. Socrates. Hmm. So I guess we need to go to the other location first, then. But... Hmm... I guess... Yeah, I guess... Oh no, no, we need to talk with the parrot. I think it was about talking with the parrot. Because he says Socrates, he has repeated what we said, so he probably knows... Talk to Barrett. 
I got this. Hmm. Echo. So he just repeat what we're saying. Talk to him. What? So do we need to talk with this guy more and get the other options? Hmm. So Talk with this guy again. Hmm. I'm going to to spawn. I really would like to explore the temple. Now the parrot will tell us. What were all the farting noises? It's <laughs> pretty funny. There we go. Hermocrates. There we go. Come on. Come on. Now we know. Hmm. The Hermocrates. Yep. Thank you, Parrot. Let's go. Let's see, so we have nine. <coughs> so this one looks different. I guess we pull. What do we do now? Keep him occupied. Come on, follow the girl. Let me do my thing. Uh, push. Pull. Okay, I think I remember this. We need to go get the kerosene lamp. But now... Now that he's distracted, we can get it. And then... We're gonna use it... And get like a kerosene lamp. Uh, and Open. Oh, it's already open. Oh. Okay, he's not mad at it. Use the kerosene with a spiral design. Okay. 
now we can get it. There we go. And obviously, it's an elephant over here, so we're gonna use the spiral design with animal head. There we go. And now we pull. Aha! Uh -huh. A tombstone. So interesting. A world stone. What do you mean, dude? What the heck? Damn you. Shiny bead. I guess it's another body calcum. Uh, pick up. Um, okay, so what the secret door? Open secret door. Push. Pull. Let's go outside then. Ah, once again, whoever's around there, he says someone new. Oh, there's some. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba. Just give me a moment, guys. Okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. So this guy just got the trinket thing. So I guess we got our calcum and we move on to the other destination. I don't think we're gonna be finding anything else over there. Well, let's go to the Azores. Ah, so beautiful. Okay, the door. Sir Costa. Humor him. I think I've played those last dialogue. I heard you know something about Atlantis. Do you have a bathroom there I can use? What with these voices? Come on, Miasham. Come on, I'm full of believer. Don't be a jerk. Do we know? Well, yes, of course I do. Ah, uh, no. I asked you first. Actually, I'm trying to find out. Let's try to find out. Source A source. Uh, uh, let her do better. Uh, in English, because I wanted to try something different. So why not? Uh, I said the, the language of the stream to English, and there's a lot of European people out there who don't speak Spanish. Plus, of course, a lot of people from the US, Canada or so, so... Gotta, gotta try. 
No, no, I'm just explaining. I'm not hitting anyone. Uh, you talk to the man. Ooh, we have the necklace. Use? No. Open the door. Uh, you said goodbye to your boss? And I'm waiting to have a beer with my co-workers. <laughs> nice, nice. I hope it's going well. Charms. You guess so. Ah, it's good then. It's good. Mm -hmm. It is indeed a good practice also for people that need to yeah, practice the English, just want to improve. Ta -ta -ta. Do you have it? Have you read it? Do you know what's in it? Can you get it for me? Nope. Do you know what's on it? In it? Nope. Do you know anything? Have it? Ah. Do you know where we can find it? Friend here. Hmm. Well, now we can trade with him, I guess. Over. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can trade our Oricalcum bead. Let's talk about the trade. Do you have a bathroom in there? Yes. Don't want to trade. This ancient copper bead, this rare archaeological magazine, the genuine American made bullwhip. <laughs> Let's see. Ah. So it's not this. Hmm. <laughs> so can we give the child gum to her now? <laughs> No, I don't think we can do anything else in here, so... What the hell do we do here? I don't, rem I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, here, you talk to him again. What do we do now? Let's move on to where? Hmm. Ah! So we go back to Iceland then. To the car! Ah, I see some people passing by the stream. Welcome, welcome. 
If you are around and you want to be part of it, just drop a line or two on the chat. I'm here doing some streaming in English. Also, let me know if you don't speak English and you're a Spanish speaker. Happy to help with that too. Because I know you're in there. Somewhere. So, welcome. Oh my god, this poor guy. He's frozen. He's frozen. Okay, so we use the Richelcom in the exposed eel head. There we go. Now I remember. Uh, pick up. And we got an eel figurine that I guess we can trade to this dude for his information. Let's see. Again, welcome everyone who's around. I see we are seven little souls watching this. An awesome, but very old game, so I hope you enjoy it with me. Following up the story with Indiana Jones and the fate of Atlantis. Amazing graphics of a 29-year-old game. So let's see if we can trade this uh, eel figurine now for the information we need. Let's talk about the trade. Mysterious eel figurine. Ah. We got the info. Hmm. Dunlop collection. Hmm. Research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Oh, this is getting dark now. Love the music. Dr. Oberman. At last. Ooh. Doctor doesn't like. Ah, so they wanted the recalcum. But they got it. Hmm. My God. Oh my goodness, I don't know what these people are doing. Oh my goodness. Nice toy. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. This nuts is always thinking about tanks and their planes, I guess. Ah uh, yeah. College 
trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Yeah. Plato Los Dalos should be here somewhere. This is Casual Hall, we store our junk here. <laughs> you can go without you can't go with me, you don't have tenure. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Wait in the office. Okay. We go up, I guess. I really don't remember this. Books on tool, books on pots, weapon, dig site. Hmm. Keep over bookcase. Crew. Pick up. Pick up a screw. Okay, so we need a screwdriver, I guess. Look at rope. Okay, we can go up. Okay, so this is where we started. Big crate. So, elf. Totem pole. Arrowhead. So sometimes, yeah, it's just all about looking at these small little things, like this arrowhead over here. Which I guess now we can use to unscrew the back of the. Oh, I could buy the love of Tesos. Ay. Use arrowhead screw. Oh, okay, so we need something else. I believe so was up here too. Go up. Well, as you can see right now above me, or you saw a moment some moments ago, we have Discord. So if you want to join us, you should have the link. Over there, or if you write uh, exclamation back to rope, uh, pick up. exclamation discord. Do, do, do. So it's not up here. Might be in the basement then. To the basement we go. Well, again, I see we are seven people over here. So while Indy's walking around, feel free to. Write some on the chat, let me know you're there, if you're new especially, because then we can chat, we can, I can address you, I can... Dirty rag, pick up. So, can we use the dirty rag with the arrowhead? Yep, we do. Maybe the shovel? No. There was something else here, open furnace? Uh, look. Very hot. Uh, use arrowhead for there? Nope. Nope, nope. Walk to cold shoot. Don't think you can climb up from there. Yep. So we go again through the other way. Uh, now we use this with the screw, I guess. Let's see, let's see. Okay, open. Okay. 
But we still have some more screw. It's funny because he's like just a pixel there, but you need to you need to see it because otherwise. Thank you, Indy, for letting me know every time. Hmm. Let's open it. And we just had it there all along. Look. The Hermograte. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought it was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to the long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I sent a copy to Dunlop. Charles Stenhart, London, 1922. So this is Stenhart too, this is the father of the guy that was by the temple, I guess. Hermocrates. In shame I hereby do recount the time and place where Oscritius spoke. In rendering Egyptian into Greek he made the tenfold error. Instead of lying 3,000 miles hence, Atlantis may well have been 30,000 miles away, or perhaps it was less than 300 miles from our own shores. Likewise, it may be that the lost kingdom held sway as many as 100,000 years ago, or as few as a thousand. Uh, okay, Lisud. See you later, alligator. Have fun. Don't drink too many beers. <laughs> Beeper and his icons. Socrates. If a kingdom arose on Earth beyond anywhere men might travel, then we would never hear of it. We ought to accept the lesser figure. Okay, so we know it's probably 300 miles. Just enough, exactly. So glorious Atlantis founded two colonies. The lesser 260 miles northwest of the city, and the greater 550 miles away southeast. Gates of the kingdom open only with the aid of special stones. At many outposts a sunstone sufficed, if sunset made the tall horns red. At the greater colony a moonstone was also needed, with the noon sun riding above the full moon. Eso, eso, que se anime el chat. Let the chat be... Uh, happy. To approach Atlantis itself, a world stone was required, as well with darkness ruling the old city without challenge. Final entrance yielded only to contrary minds. Okay. And it is said that dwellers in Atlantis had no horses nor any need of them. I'm in the right place, yeah. Du, du, du. <laughs> Oricalcum, the metal that glittered like fire, this they had instead. They cast it into shiny beads and used them as we do minted coins, paying a status to do their work as if by magic. Okay, have fun, have fun. See you later. When their colonies were failing, wise men carved strange devices out of amber to search for the metal, but only proud Atlantis ever yielded a supply. Socrates, you have called the kingdom wealthy, but surely this is absurd. As the waters rose around the city, the kings of Atlantis, one after another, sought to hold off fate. No immortal men would never rule the sea, they planned a huge colossus, which by use of oricalcum, ten bits at a time, would make them like the gods themselves. Nurapsal was one such king. He it was, say the wise men of Egypt, who first put men in the colossus, making many freaks of nature at times when the celestial, celestial spheres were well aligned. Socrates, this I doubt, we are hearing a child's tale. Okay, so we have read our dialogue. This is getting interesting guys, I'm very intense, very very intense. But in any case... 
we are most likely gonna finish our streaming here today. I don't want this to be a very long episode. I want people to be able to re-watch it, follow it. So, yeah, I think we're gonna call it. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna save it here. We're gonna save it as finger. Very old school. And we're going to quit and well, we have played we that's what it says there. We've played Indiana Jones. Well, guys, I'm gonna be signing off. I know there is some people over there in the chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this we're gonna be uploading this so you can re-watch it in certain platforms and and we're gonna be continuing this is just the start of the series we're gonna do the whole gameplay the whole game through so i hope you guys enjoyed it so far i'm going to be probably following it up maybe tomorrow maybe on sunday uh, we're gonna have some don't start together coming up as well probably tomorrow, probably Sunday. So anyway, without further ado, thank you for being over here. And I'll see you in the next stream slash video if you're rewatching this. Thank you very much. See ya.